good morning you guys okay let's jump right into this this is the makeup video that i had promised you guys um we are spraying detangler to my hair because <laughs> if i don't it's just god awful i am currently walking around the house while i'm filming this voiceover now my dog's chasing me hi how are you Did you hear me? Pups? Anyone? Zena's over here wagging her tail, being cute. Per usual. Oh, now Mofi's getting a drink. Good boy. Now I'm gonna go over here whilst he's getting a drink. Sit down in my chair. I have already started today's vlog. I'm going to get an everyday makeup look for you guys in hopes that it would be easy enough to follow along. I didn't show some of the products in this video, but I know what they are. So I am going to probably end up pulling them out of my drawers and stuff and then telling you what they are um i'm not very good at this whole makeup situation so okay so our brows are done we used four products to get my brows to where they're at this is the best they've ever turned out too um, the first brow that I use is a BH Cosmetics Brow Designer in Dark Brown. The one that I use to fill them in is the Wet n Wild, Ult Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. Yes, it does make a difference. Um, the powder that you guys see me going in, well... I don't think you saw me going in with it. Hold on. How do I pause the video? Ugh. Hold on. Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit for the powder. I did use the, uh, the lighter one of the two. It just it doesn't have a color on it. So I used the lighter brown of the two. For the brow hairs, I used the L'Oreal Unbelievable Brow Brow gel stuff it's uh the color is written on it but it's too small for me to read um okay so for foundation i used the maybelline fit me dewy and smooth in number 110 which is a little bit darker than what I needed. So I went in with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, um, which lightened it up the way that I needed it to. So we're going in with that. I think I'm using my sponge. I can't see half of what I'm doing. Um, but yes, so the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream in Fair 120N and the Maybelline Fit Me, I think I said it was in 110. So, the one that I did use underneath it but didn't work out the way that I wanted it to was the CoverGirl Clean and Fresh Skin Milk in number 510 porcelain that one did not work the way that i wanted it to the concealer that i used for it is the elf 16 hour matte finish camo concealer it ooh, excuse me in fair warm color um can you not do that right now please like honestly um okay we are setting our faces with the coty air spun powder 
for, I believe I have the one translucent extra coverage. Um, didn't realize at the time that I used a dewy foundation. Was wondering why it wouldn't set. Um, but yeah, didn't realize that I had used a dewy foundation. And now we're going crazy again. I even took the foundation clear down to my chest. Uh, couldn't reach the back, so I couldn't do the back, but, you know. Okay, we are going in... We're still setting it. Sorry for that light in the background. That's really kind of irritating. I don't know why my husband turned it on. And yes, my husband was awake while I did this. Um, he wanted to get him up, get up and move around, and I was like, "No, you are sitting down, and you are staying sitting down." I was getting kind of irritated at the fact that he wanted to get up and walk around in the middle of my video. Hubby, don't do that. Please and thank you. I love you. Okay, so we are still setting. Like I said, I didn't realize that I had used a dewy foundation. Uh, but. Yeah. I wonder when we're going to stop setting our foundation. Okay, what are we doing? I forgot to also record me setting everything down with a setting spray but I did do that um yeah so I feel like I have a foot cramp all day today and it's only 9.26 a.m. need to take some potassium or something Okay, I can see that I'm going to my drawers, is what it looks like. Camo concealer. Forgot to show you, but that's the one that we're using. Oh, the gloves, by the way, um, for new viewers, I have arthritis in my hands. Um, <laughs> the gloves are there to help with the pain. There's the Fit Me one. You can see it's quite a bit darker than what I needed. There's the e.l.f. camo CC cream, fair something something, fair 120N. Oh, now we're throwing stuff. Um, the lip gloss that you guys are seeing is a hydrating oil. It is the Ruby Kisses Hydrating Lip Oil. I absolutely love it. I don't like the tube that it comes in because it's it's kind of messy. Um, but I I had these like extra perfume bottle things, um, and I decided to put some of it in there, and it literally puts out the perfect amount of product so I really like putting them into those little like perfume rollerball things um that's for the eyebrows that's the big one that I use to fill it in I think that's the small one I can't see you can see why it wasn't it was suggested to me to not use makeup in my sores. Uh, can, do you not start up your ATV right now, please? I don't know what that was. Uh, 
Okay, we're gonna go in with. Let me find the eyeshadow. Hold on. The inner corner highlight was a L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Iced Latte. This is one of their singles. Mine broke everywhere, so I had to repress it, but it's the one. It's 888 Iced Latte. The eyeshadow... No, hold on. The other eyeshadow that I used for the inner corner that had a yellow... Um, like, really light... mixed to it I guess I don't know what to dual chrome maybe anyway is the number seven stay perfect trio eyeshadow palette in golden absolutely love this one I love the white in it and the gold in it not so fond of the brown iced latte Here's the other one, the number 7 palette with the white eyeshadow with the yellow in it. I think it made it quite a bit brighter, which is what I wanted. So, we did that. Sorry if you guys heard that car going by. I'm so tired. For the brown eyeshadow that you see me putting in my crease is from a, pal a wet and wild palette called walking on eggshells i have the older style palette with just the three eyeshadows in it um oh, i haven't had any coffee yet um i do believe i use only the pink and the brown in it um like i said if i wore makeup on a daily basis this is probably what it would be and or pretty close to what it would be um but like i said it's walking on eggshells three eight zero b Putting this in the crease and a little bit under the eye. Oh, I dropped my drawer. <laughs> that reminds me of one of my... <laughs> oh, that's a story time. That is so a story time. <laughs> He's standing... <laughs> He's standing at the damn kitchen. <laughs> and his freaking pants fall down. <laughs> he doesn't have any pants that fit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. So my husband was standing at the kitchen doing the french toast for dinner last night i think it was last night it was either last night or the night before but 
he was <laughs> standing there in a pair of pants that are really too big for him. Um, and his freaking pants just fell. <laughs> Oh, that shit was too funny. Oh my god. I can't see what I'm doing right now, you guys. Walking on eggshells. I saw that. I think we're doing the pink part from what I can see. We're doing it on the lid. If we're doing it on the lid, then we're doing the pink part. Can you not with your ATV right now, please? Go away. God, I wish I wasn't this guy's neighbor. Incredibly disrespectful. And he's on night shift too, so he should know. Oh. <sighs> Oh, that was too funny. Oh, that was too funny. <sighs> I wish I would really not do that on camera. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I can only see about half of what I'm doing. I don't know what that was. Ugh, now I've got the hiccups. can't see what I'm doing. I think that was the eyeliner. The eyeliner that I used is the Rimmel 001 black eyeliner. The gel one that comes in the little tiny container. It doesn't come in like a pencil thing. It comes in like a little tiny container thing really like this one um if you guys see the inside of it which I don't know if I showed or not um you guys could see how much I've actually used of it which is quite a bit I'm sorry if you can hear my stomach growling I think we're doing the eyeliner from what I can see. The waterline eyeliner I did forget to set with one of my favorite blacks. Um, but you can do that and it will last a lot longer. What are we doing? Okay, it looks like eyeliner, from what I can see. I can see something happening with the lower lash line, but I can't tell what it is. Can you not? I'm so sorry, you guys. I live at a trailer park, and any 
thing and everything they do, they, they can hear you and you can hear them. Like, it's kind of annoying, actually. The palette that I am holding up has the mirror that I was using in it, but this is the ColourPop Frozen 2 eyeshadow palette. This is the one in Anna. Um, again, absolutely love the gold, love the gold, gold glitter that comes into it. There's nothing bad I can say about this palette. Love the purples, love the browns. Not so fond of the mustardy colors that come in it, but that's just a personal preference type of thing. Um, okay. But that was the palette that I was holding up. Come on, what are we doing? Mascara. I think this is mascara. Okay. This is the... Uh, Maybelline New York Lost Sensational Sky High Mascara. I don't see what the hype is about this one, to be quite honest. But, I mean, I like it. I don't see how it could be labeled as sky high, but again, that's just a me thing. I forgot to, I think I said this already though. I did forget to record me setting my makeup, but for a setting spray, I use the Wet n Wild Fight Dirty Detox Setting Spray. Absolutely love this one. Okay, for blush. We went in with the Profusion Cosmetics Blush 1 Palette. We went in with... Let me open it, if I can. Bashful, Blossom, and Sweetheart. Two of which are, like, highlighty colors, which is why you see me not go in with a highlighter. Is because it's the blush has already got like a highlighter type blush in it. Um, yeah. Bashful, Blossom, Sweetheart. In the Blush One palette. I can tell I'm trying to do something, I just don't know what it is. <laughs> I went to go and use the lipstick and I flung the um, cap at my dog's butt. So, this is the frozen... I don't know why I opened that. Um, this is the Disney's Frozen 2 Going North Cream Lipstick by Colourpop. Absolutely love it. Again. Um, in fact, I'm having a hard time using it up because I don't want it to be gone. So, I just went in and put this over the lip gloss that I was already wearing. Which, it's not actually a lip gloss. It's a hydrating lip oil. Um, but, yeah, uh, I have, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, I'm grabbing the lid. 
I got the lid from it hitting my dog in the butt. The poor little puppy being picked on all day yesterday. Now we're doing our lip sync thing, because like I said, it wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't do it. If I didn't do it, that means I have to do a voiceover because I can't show you guys the actual words. Bye!